was racist America in the 1940s. We did experience discrimination, but we fought it every time. And we knew that's what the world was like. And that's why we were doing what we're doing to help change the world. And we did change the world. 91-year-old Roscoe Brown is a member of the Tuskegee Airmen, the first black pilots in American military history. They're probably best known as the fighter pilots who flew the red-tailed aircraft, which escorted bombers in Europe during World War II. They flew about 312 missions for the 15th Air Force. 179 of those missions were bomber escort missions. And only on seven of those 179 bomber escort missions uh, did Tuskegee Airmen escorted bombers uh, get shot down by enemy aircraft. We knew that if we lost some bombers because we made a mistake, they would say, they'd say blacks can't do it. We show we could do it. I am proudly one of 53 pilots who shot down a jet plane. I was in the right place at the right time with the right equipment. This is Moton Field, where the Tuskegee Airmen originally trained. And since weather is vitally important to any pilot, a group of African-American meteorologists were commissioned, and they became known as the Tuskegee Weather Detachment. Daniel Holman is an Air Force historian who's done extensive research on the Tuskegee Airmen and knows how important the weather briefings were to the pilots. One of the things they did was not only uh, determine what the weather was like at the base and help make sure that the uh, operations at the base were consistent with what the weather allowed, but also helped prepare for the missions. Uh, they had to know what the weather was going to be like on the way and what the weather was going to be like on the way back. Many times we were flying to fronts with large cumulus clouds. And what we would do, they would tell us about how far into our mission they would be, and we would fly around them. Just like the airmen, the Tuskegee weathermen were considered to be the cream of the crop. They were selected based on intelligence and leadership qualities, and were thought to be some of the most accomplished and competitive African Americans in the country. In fact, Charles Edward Anderson, who was a weather officer, went on to become the first African American to earn a PhD in meteorology. The weather officers, like the pilots, uh, really were pioneers because just as the pilots demonstrated that black men could fly military aircraft in combat just as well as the, the white pilots, the weather officers demonstrated that they could perform the meteorological tasks that they were called on to do as well as the, the white officers. I'm meteorologist Paul Goodloe.